Now, NIC tying hands with the uh, city to provide training services to the brokerage firm. Rahul Patwardhan, the CEO, joining us. Uh, Rahul, thanks uh, for being with us. Just talk us through, you know, the order and the kind of implications this will have uh, for NIT, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, size of the deal. It's a multi-year deal from what I can tell. Uh, yes, good afternoon. Uh, yes, this is a very important uh, uh, milestone for us. Uh, we have been working on this as we have on many other opportunities uh, with large Fortune 1000 companies, and uh, that is the basis on which we had indicated our confidence in delivering a 15% top-line growth for the year and a 12% debita. So with this announcement and this uh, order in hand, uh, we solidify and improve uh, our confidence on the uh, projections that we have made, uh, not only for this year, but a continued 15% uh, growth over the next few years. Uh, what's important here is that this is a strategic relationship. Uh, it covers EMEA as a region, uh, but even within EMEA, it only addresses one part of the activity that uh, Citibank uh, is looking at working with us for. So there will be opportunity for us to move into other areas as we demonstrate our quality of services. And obviously, there's an opportunity to expand uh, later uh, if we do a good job to service Citibank globally. So we're very, very pleased about this. Uh, we've been working very hard on this, and clearly this is something that uh, puts us in a better position going forward. Uh, what I do want to emphasize that uh, we have a quarter results coming up in five days, so I don't want to talk about any numbers at all. Uh, also, uh, client confidentiality uh, prevents us from talking about specifics uh, beyond what we provided in the press release. Fair enough. Uh, Rahul, I noticed you've just launched uh, NIT TV. Uh, can you talk to us about how that's going to work, you know, uh, where you've rolled it out so far and what the plan is on that? Yes, yes, very good. Uh, in fact, today is an important milestone. Uh, we launched it as a beta, uh, basically opening up NIT's uh, classrooms to the world. And uh, it's now nine days exactly since we did the launch. And uh, we have already crossed without any marketing activity at all uh, 10,000 user registrations on this portal, uh, which is ahead of what we had actually expected to achieve. And we, we wanted to reduce, minimize the number of uh, registrations in the beginning. And that's why it was launched as a beta so that we could perfect uh, various features of the site. Uh, so it's going well. Uh, we, in fact, have uh, users who have registered from all over the world, uh, not just India. Uh, so early days, but all the metrics that we are seeing over the last nine days are moving in the direction that we'd like them to move. Uh, it's still early days, of course. All right, Rahul, I know you can't talk much about numbers, but you know, just want to get a sense of uh, anything else you can share with us in terms of outlook going forward, given that, uh, like, you, like you spoke about this particular contract, anything else uh, along these lines that we can expect? Is this an area you'll be focusing on going ahead? Yeah, I think when we started the journey, we talked about a three-phase restructuring of the skills and career business, which was our restructuring phase, uh, which we did in Q4. And then we said we're entering into the re-energizing phase, which is all about uh, pushing more products and more efficiency through the system so that we got more capacity utilization and better returns and more growth. Uh, and then we had the renewal phase, which is uh, epitomized by the two uh, launches of Stackroot and now NIIT TV, which is a little bit ahead of schedule, to be honest. Uh, so we're very pleased with that, too. So overall, I would say that the transformation program that we laid out in the end of quarter three last year uh, is moving absolutely to plan. In fact, slightly ahead of plan on some dimensions. So I'm very pleased with that. Uh, and therefore, I'm even more confident than I would have been three months ago that our numbers that we had indicated and shared for each of the three businesses, uh, we will be able to deliver for this year uh, and into the foreseeable future. Rahul, you've recently set up a center in Dublin. Uh, how large is Europe going to be and how soon or will the center start contributing in terms of uh, revenues and you know, show up on your books? Yes, uh, that's, that's an important uh, strategic investment to support our European customers. But in fact, we must not forget it can also support American customers because it's uh, very close to the U.S. and uh, the cost structures of Ireland are substantially lower than the U.S. So if you need proximity, 
a development capability. Uh, it could actually serve both the markets. They also have a lot of multilingual skilled uh, professionals in Ireland uh, because a lot of the IT professionals in Ireland actually come from all over Europe. Uh, again, at a lower cost than, uh, let's say, UK or Germany or any of the main continental markets. So it's very strategic to us. Uh, what we are doing is to jumpstart the center by uh, redirecting some of the excess backlog of work from some of our uh, global customers. Uh, so actually, we have ready work uh, to be moved there, uh, which de-risks actually the startup phase of that operation. Uh, and obviously, the intent is to grow our European business. Otherwise, we wouldn't uh, have a set up shop in Ireland. Uh, Ireland provides us other benefits. Uh, there's a lot of very good talent. At uh, This is an area of content development and uh, learning, e-learning in particular. Uh, there's a lot of capability in Ireland because some of the very large uh, e-learning companies had a large base in Ireland. So it's always had a tradition for having uh, skilled people in this area. Uh, we also have tax benefits, subsidies from the government, so a lot of other benefits uh, of being there to service the Euro Eurozone uh, from a country which provides uh, many of these benefits. So all in all, uh, we expect to see uh, revenues from Ireland this year itself as work starts migrating there. Uh, and we hope that some of the new contracts that we win, including uh, the one which is announced, uh, there would be opportunity to leverage Ireland to service that.